All right, you guys have been asking for it. So today we're going to tear down the Time USB 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So I must admit, I've already been trying to get into it. As you can see, there's some damage here and on this side. And if there was an award for the hardest to get in, most robust case, uh, these guys would easily win it. So uh, it's tough. It's uh, absolutely the toughest I've hit so far. Whew. Getting there, my gosh. All right, guys, there you go. That was brutal. This case feels a lot tougher and maybe they just put a lot more glue, but that was hard. I'm out of breath. I've never had to use two putty knife and a chisel. That was real tough. So anyways, right off the bat, we got a nice big BMS. It says SH21F. 0B663X6.0. There's a date of 202271. Looks like it has a data header here. Let's remove these terminals here. That's on there tight. Very tight. Uh, another observation about the BMS, the solder joints are very well done. As you can see here, um, there's no wire fray or anything sticking out. And uh, here as well, very well done. Looks to be uh, 310 gauge silicone 200 uh, Celsius wire. On the positive, we have a six gauge silicone uh, 200 Celsius wire. It has a high temperature uh, thermal switch here that was glued to the batteries. And um, we have four prismatic celled cell batteries that are all held together uh, with these plastic uh, cell holders and these plastic bands. So let's try to pull this out of the case. All right, I think it's going to be easier if I remove the BMS. Yeah, so the BMS was attached to the uh, cells, the side of the cells with this double sticky tape. <clears throat> My goodness. All right, guys, this battery by far has been the most difficult to disassemble. Um, so I would honestly say, I think this thing is very well put together. And that's very surprising for this being less than $300.
Yeah, so if you watched my initial uh, video about this battery when I did a capacity test, it pulled full capacity perfectly. There was no problem with this battery. Uh, so given that, this may be the new budget king. Really, I mean, it's very well put together. Now I'm curious of what kind of cells. I know these are brand new cells because they say that it is. And when I did the capacity test, uh, they pulled full capacity. So I'm curious what kind of cells these are. And I will say that these cell holders look a lot like the batteries that are in the EG4 server rack. Cause I actually have one of those modules. I'll grab it here in a little bit and we can compare it. But they're put together like very much the same way with the welded bus bars, the straps and these plastic cell holders. Uh, so those have GFB cells or Gangfing, which are good cells. So I'm cur curious what we have here. Yeah, yeah, GFB. So these, I don't know if you can see this. These I, I think are the same cells that are in the EG4 server rack batteries. Uh, these are great cells. Um, this whole thing is a, just a crazy good value. It's incredibly well built. Let me grab the uh, EG4 server rack module battery and we'll compare. All right guys, uh, so here's the EG4 rack mount uh, battery module uh, out of the Signature Solar EG4 rack mount batteries. Uh, this is one half of it. So I want to show you this. If you look at, look here. So the same uh, plastic cell holders. Uh, and this is the uh, Time USB cells. Uh, the same banding. And the they have the EG4 module has these metal pieces on the end so it can mount into the rack mount case. But um, it's the same thing on these except for these don't have the metal piece. But you can see these little index pins right here that uh, would line up on the metal plate. <laughs> so I think... I don't know, but I kind of feel like I'm, um, I'm under the impression that a lot of these things are made in the same factory. I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. But it looks uh, incredibly similar. And uh, so, and I'm sorry, I can't really get a good close up on this. Uh, but these are the GFB 3.2 volt 100 amp hour cells made by Gangfing. That's what the GFB is. And, and these are the exact same cells. GFB 3.2 volt uh, 100 amp hour. So um, you're getting the same quality, it appears that you're getting the same quality cells in the Time USB battery that you're getting in the uh, signature solar. That's what it appears. Um, so, I mean, there you go. I, I think the build quality of this battery is very high. And for, for, for such a low price, my opinion would be uh, get them while they're cheap. I, I feel like when this brand becomes more well known, I feel like the price goes up. I could be wrong, who knows. But I mean like the, everything with this battery has been designed well. Even the foam, you can tell the foam here has been cut out properly. You know, it leaves the space for the vent holes to uh, have vent holes basically. Uh, so it's not covering the vent holes. So if these batteries vent, they're not going to uh, uh, impeded by any foam or anything like that. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with this guy. So yeah, uh, I urge you to check out my first video on this battery. I'll put a link in the description uh, or down in the comments so you can go watch it. And um, 
yeah, it, it performed flawlessly in that video where I te did test on it. That's all I got to say about it. I'll put links in the description if you want to check this battery out or buy it or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's good. That's going to be the end of the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.